Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Caden's Kitchen where I'm trying some of the best recipes I can find and hoping they taste as good as they look. Uh, on this episode, I'm taking another suggestion. Last week I was suggested by Mrs. Buyati of Plattsburgh High School to make banana pancakes. Those came out awesome. They were some of the best tasting stuff I've made on here. So uh, hopefully this week is, uh, is another one of those instances. Uh, this is a gluten-free fried chicken uh, suggested by Mrs. Manchester. Uh, now, I've been doing a lot of gluten-free stuff lately. I think everything I've made on here besides the first episode has been gluten-free. So, uh, I, I, as a, again, my mama has celiac disease. Um, and uh, because of my mom having celiac disease, I try to make as much gluten-free stuff as I can. Uh, Mrs. Manchester also has celiac disease, so I'm sure she's, uh, she's very good at gluten-free recipes herself. Uh, let's hope I can be as good as her. So uh, all you're going to need is uh, very simple ingredients. It's, it's very easy. It's not that time consuming. Um, and uh, let's hope uh, the flavor is as good as, uh, as good as fried chicken normally is. Uh, so let's get right into the video. So all you're going to need for the fried chicken is going to be buttermilk, gluten-free flour, gluten-free breadcrumbs, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, salt, and one large, in this case very large, chicken breast that is cut in half and pounded slightly thin. To start, pour two cups of buttermilk into a mixing bowl and add about two tablespoons of salt. And now we're just going to add the chicken to that. I lightly season the chicken with salt too. And it's getting nice and coated. And then all we're going to do with this is we're going to let it sit in the buttermilk for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm just going to put it in the fridge and allow it to soak up the buttermilk develops a nice flavor, that moisture, so it's going to be nice and juicy and tender at the end. It's going to be very good. So while the chicken is soaking in the uh, bowl with the buttermilk, we're just going to add one cup of the gluten-free flour into a bowl, along with heavy seasoning on salt, cayenne pepper, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. And then also on a small plate, we're going to put the breadcrumbs, lay those out. This is where the extra crispiness is going to come from, that nice crunch of the breadcrumbs on the outside. This is going to be good. So after the chicken's been soaking for about 30 to 45 minutes, uh, we're going to take it out of the fridge and we are going to start to coat it with the flour mixture. It's nice and coated with the buttermilk already. We're going to make sure to shake off the excess of uh, the buttermilk that we don't need. Uh, again, you know, salmonella is not fun, I've heard. So uh, I'm going to make sure to wash my hands after this and you guys should too. All right, we're going to coat it there. Get it nice and coated on each side. I probably should use two hands for this. I'm going to do that. Hang on. So what I've done here is I've actually double battered the chicken. First, I put it in the flour mixture to get it coated on the outside. Then I soaked it again in the buttermilk to uh, be able to put the breadcrumbs on. And now the breadcrumbs are on. And now we're going to put these in the air fryer. Uh, we're going to have to go one at a time because, again, these breasts are massive. Uh, but we're going to put them on 380 degrees. Uh, and they should go to for about 15 to 20 minutes, and we're going to have to flip them in between. Now, obviously, if you're using a regular deep fryer, not an air fryer, then it's a whole different process. But air fryer, because, you know, it's 2020 and people like air fryers. They are fun, though. I'll admit that. All right, so the air fryer is on. We're going to go for, let's say, 18 minutes. Sound good to me. Sound good to you. All right, let's let it go. Hopefully it gets nice and golden brown and crispy on the outside, and uh, we can enjoy our fried chicken the way it was meant to be, uh, fried via the air and made without gluten. Okay, so the chicken's been cooking for about 10 minutes on this one side, so what we're going to do is the air fryer is going to flip it so that it can get nice and crispy on the other side, and then we should be good to go. Same thing, 380, we're going to go 10 minutes on this side as well as about what we went down the other side. Hopefully it, nice, it cooks nice and evenly and uh, we can enjoy this. So now we're going to make a sauce for the chicken, and literally it's just going to be three ingredients. All we're going to use is Hellman's mayonnaise, smoked chipotle hot sauce, and salt. And then we're just going to combine it all together, and it uh, should taste really good. I think it'll go really well with the chicken, and uh, we'll be ready to serve. Okay, let's give this fried chicken a try. Now, I haven't actually had fried chicken in a while. Mm, I don't think I've ever had air-fried, gluten-free fried chicken. This is definitely a first for me. But uh, we'll give it a shot. Texture looks good. Texture looks good. Holds on well. Okay, so now let's try it with the sauce. Mm. Actually, that has really good flavor. I like that. Like, try another bite. Mm-hmm.
for all you gluten-free people out there, honestly, and I'm not just saying this because I know people say this a lot. If I didn't know that this was gluten-free, I'd have no idea. And I like these breadcrumbs or Italian breadcrumbs, so they give that nice flavor. A little bit, maybe the air fryer hat would have to do this a little bit dry, just a little bit. But I think if you uh, if you just deep fried it regularly, it'd be uh, juicier, or maybe just like a, maybe a lower temp in the air fryer. Maybe that was on me. Um, but flavor is definitely there. Mm -hmm. So that'll do it for this episode of Caden's Kitchen. Um, this gluten-free fried chicken is a good recipe, man. Like it's simple. You don't have too many ingredients. It's easy. Um, though it's a little bit time consuming just because the buttermilk, ch the chicken has to soak in the buttermilk and it takes a little bit to fry. But other than that, like it's worth it. It's worth it if, if you're one, if you have celiac or you're just eating gluten free and you wanna and you, you miss fried chicken, then I'd say, uh, I'd say give us a try because like I said, if I didn't know, I wouldn't know. Thank you guys for all the support. I want to thank Mrs. Manchester especially for uh, again for the for the idea to do the gluten-free fried chicken. And as always, I'll be taking requests in the comments down below. Let me know what you want me to make next. Um, I'm open to just about anything, guys. So uh, just leave a comment. Let me know. Thank you guys again for watching. Please give it a like, a share, subscribe. Again, suggestions all in the comments. Uh, and uh, stay safe. And I will see you guys later.